In this episode, I'm continuing my outdoor barbecuing. I've got some beautiful ripe peaches and corn on the cob in their husks. And I'm gonna cook them on the barbecue and then I'm gonna do the most beautiful maple rosemary butter that's going to glaze all of them. One's gonna be served for dessert. And then the corn on the cob you can have as a starter, you can have after the meats. I quite like having it after you've had like all those lovely meats like I did on the last series. It refreshes the palate, so let's get cooking. I've got some beautiful corn on the cob in their husks, which I'm gonna cook directly onto the barbecue. So that's the first thing I'm gonna get on. They take about 20, 25 minutes to cook like this. I'm gonna cook them directly in the husks like this. It's so much better if you can do that because it keeps all the moisture in there. So it's almost like steams them. So to make your rosemary skewer, what you want to do, you want to keep the leaves on up here because A, they look pretty, but they will also add lovely flavour when we're barbecuing or grilling it. And then you just take all the leaves off this part and then just pop them to the side because I'm going to use the leaves in the butter that I'm going to make afterwards. And then you can see I'm pulling all the rosemary leaves off, but I'm going to use them in my maple butter. So these are my skewers. They're gonna look so beautiful on the plate. And then you've got your peaches. You wanna get the ripest ones that you've got, like this one. Oh, you know your peaches are ripe and really beautiful from the smell. If you get them and you've no other options, but you've you know, put the ones that you can get, put them into a brown paper bag and into a dry, you know, dark spot and let them ripen away. If you need them to ripen fast, place a banana beside them and the banana helps them ripen. I'm gonna cut this to the center. And this is the easiest dessert to make, especially for grilling outside like this, until you put it like that. What you wanna do is take out the stone. So next I'm skewering the peaches through the rosemary stalks. And then that one. And these will serve two people. So when I'm grilling or barbecuing the peaches on the skewer, I do it dry first and then I'm gonna put the maple rosemary butter over because I don't want it to burn them. I'm gonna get a lovely char on these. So the next bit of information I'm gonna share with you does come with a warning sign. <laughs> Honestly, it's so good. It's butter, maple syrup, fresh rosemary, you simmer it all together and it becomes like a, a lava of taste sensation. It's so beautiful. I love it on these peaches. You can put it over ice cream, you can put it over chocolate torch, you can put it over the corn in the cob, which is so beautiful with the two. There's so many different things that you can put it with. You get your butter, top it up with a maple syrup. The exact recipe is in the link below. And then you just pull together your rosemary, chop it finely. It's just three ingredients. The Kerrygold Irish butter, good quality maple syrup, and then a fresh rosemary, chopped up very finely. You pop it all in together, you bring it up to a simmer, and then you let it cook for about, I'd say, five minutes, and it's done. And the great thing about it is that on a barbecue like this, because I love cooking outside when I'm doing a barbecue, like the whole prep and everything, what I'll do is I'll just get it like this, and I'll pop it straight onto my barbecue, So I've taken my peaches um, on their skewers out of the barbecue. God, they smell good. The sweetness of the peaches and then the double sweetness because of the rosemary as well. Look how gorgeous they look. So I've got my beautiful sauce, which is the butter and the maple syrup and the rosemary. Rosemary and peaches are so incredibly good together. Really good combination. Now you've heard the expression when something looks peachy that it's so luscious. Look at how peachy these look. And then I'm just going to put a little dollop of mascarpone because they go so well together. And while I'm down here, I really feel like I should let you all know what it tastes like. I think possibly the best dessert I've ever made. My favourite dessert recipe, officially. The butteriness and the gorgeous sweet maple syrup and then the rosemary all get so intensely beautiful. 
over the luscious peaches that have that char flavour to them and then the lovely kind of decadent mascarpone coming in to say hello. Yes! <laughs> Best recipe of the series, honestly, no lie, no lie. So not to get too distracted by the lovely peaches, my corns have been barbecuing in their husks. That is how you want your corn and the cob looking, right? Look at these beauties. When I'm serving these up, I quite like to take about um, half of the husk off, but I like to keep the other half on because I think it looks so beautiful on the plate. I mean, I love serving the corn on the cob after we've had the meat because I think it's like so lovely and kind of fresh. But whatever your taste is, you are going to love my maple and rosemary butter over them. So it's the exact same butter that I used for the peaches that I'm going to use for the corn. And then I'm just going to pour this right over the corn. Come a little closer, have a look at this. So here's my corn on the cob, barbecued in their husks with my rosemary maple butter. So one little last brush of the butter just to make them look super beautiful. Right, walk over, okay. So my corn on the cobs are ready. And my peaches with the gorgeous rosemary and maple butter melted all over them. If you'd like the full recipe, which of course you do, it's in the link just below. Please hit subscribe. Get out, barbecue. It's outdoors, end of the summer. Enjoy.